Once again, we are rounding up some things that are new in my closet. I have a little bit of everything for you guys today. Everything from jewelry, handbags, shoes, outfits, try-on. I'm gonna save the try-on stuff till the end because I gotta move the camera, but let's go. So first we're gonna get into some jewelry. I am a jewelry fanatic by heart. I took a break from it for a number of years, but we are back at it again. And I wanna thank Victoria Emerson for partnering with me on this portion of today's collective haul video. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I quite literally talk about Victoria Emerson all the time. I don't wanna say how many bracelets I own. It's embarrassing, but I wanna share with you guys, if you're not familiar with the brand, what I like best about the stuff that I usually purchase from them, as well as of course share my latest haul. And I do have a 60% off discount code. I will leave all that information as well down in the description box and on a screen right here. So if you have seen or heard of the brand before, you probably know that they are, I'd say most widely known for their bracelets, although they are getting into some other interesting things. They just released sunglasses and they're getting a lot more into gold jewelry, but I would say they are most known for their boho bracelets. Their boho bracelets come in two main styles the wrap style or the cuff style. This one right here is a smaller wrap. It's going around my wrist three times. We're just gonna place those right there. This one is a little bit of a larger wrap going around five times it looks like. There are multiple different stations. I really like the wraps because they look really cool with other bracelets and they look really cool with watches. They even have several bracelets that actually integrate with an Apple watch. I do have a couple of those. I don't know where they are right now because <laughs> I just moved. They work really cool too. They have them in the cuff style and the wrap style as well. Like as you go down, the colors change. So when you're wrapping that around your wrist, you know, you're kind of getting that whole mix of color. And then the other two that I have here, you can see they're a lot more neutral. I often wear a wrap on one side and maybe with some other bracelets. And then I often wear a cuff. So let me show you the cuffs. If you've not seen these, they're so good. I have two here to show you that are their larger cuff style. And then I also have a couple to show you that are their mini cuff style. The larger cuff is going to be good if you really want that illusion of a stack of bracelets. So as you can see, you've got magnets on either side. This is what is so great about them is it obviously looks like you're wearing all of these bracelets, but all you literally did, I mean, you didn't have to do a class on the larger cuff. It was just magnetic. And it looks like you spent a bunch of time putting all those bracelets together that just kind of match to perfection. You know, that's the whole idea. Here is one that is actually a full cuff, but it's not quite as many strands as the last one. And then I do have a couple of mini cuffs to show you. I know some of the family members that I have gifted Victoria Emerson. As an example, Donna, who's basically a family member, she likes the mini cuffs better because they're not as big. Here's an example of a mini cuff. And as you can see, it's just a little bit more dainty. It doesn't mean that the actual bracelet strands are going to be more dainty, but either way, there will be less of them. So they're the same in that the hard work is done for you, meaning it looks like you're wearing that grouping of bracelets with it only just being one bracelet. So out of my Victoria Emerson haul overall, my mini cuffs are actually my most favorite pieces because I've just been really loving turquoise. These all have a turquoise in them. And I'm pretty sure I shared in a prior video, if you guys didn't see that video, how I store my Victoria Emerson bracelets. It's an Amazon video. I get this basically a watch box that has all the little watch pillows in it. And that's how I store all the bracelets so that I can just, it's embarrassing, but I, I have three boxes if that gives you any idea. And then this is the last of the mini cuffs that I got. So yeah, let me know which one was your favorite. I'll have them all linked down below. If you're familiar with the brand, if you've tried them out, have any experience, I'd love to hear down below. Let's keep moving with the haul. So take a look at this bag. This might look familiar because I did a TJ Maxx haul that I can link below and I got a very similar bag to this one where if you guys remember, I actually hated the strap. Take a look at this strap. This is from a girl, Donna. I specifically put it aside because I knew that I wanted to feature it in like a roundup video like this. So the tags are still on it. I know you guys are gonna meet Donna someday. Someday, the, the woman, she got me this for her birthday. We were out celebrating her birthday and she brought me a gift. Her love language is gifts. She never disappoints. <laughs> so I love this. 
Oh, hey, oh, hey, pardon the interruption. It's just me, your host, Jen the Real Fluencer. I just wanted to welcome you into the channel. If you happen to be new here, welcome for the first time. And if you are not new here, then welcome back. My channel is all about helping you be your most confident self through style and fashion. Fashion. We do a lot of hauls on here, talk about confidence, how to dress for your body type, all that kind of stuff. But first and foremost is, we cook looks. We're cooking those looks in the kitchen in this video specifically, or I like to say specifically. I don't have a lot of looks that I'd be cooking for you, but stay tuned. There will be more coming. This is a little bit more of kind of a general haul and a try on haul, but normally I am just to be found in the kitchen, either eating or cooking looks. So th th yeah, that's, <laughs> and I do always like to give the disclaimer that I'm just a little bit goofy just a little, sometimes more than others. <laughs> uh, so if that all sounds good to you, definitely consider sticking around, watching some more videos, subscribing perhaps. Only if you're awesome though. Here's the thing, if you're not awesome, don't subscribe because we're all awesome here and I don't want you to feel left out. You know what I mean? And it might get weird after a while. So if you are awesome and you wanna see more, consider subscribing. Everything that I talk about today will be listed, linked, and numbered down below in the description box. If you aren't familiar with where to find the description box, just click the title of the video, which will open up a box, and then click more, which will take you to all the links. If you choose to use my links, please know how much I appreciate you. That is a way to support my channel. I did a big Urban Outfitters order a while ago, and I ended up returning a bunch of stuff. I never filmed it. Two of the things aren't available anymore, but I really just wanted to show them to you. And the other thing I am obsessed with, and it's not on Urban Outfitters anymore, but it is on the brand's website and I found it and I can definitely link it below for you. So I'm sure I can find something comparable and link it. And I know this is completely out of season. I kind of found it when we moved. <laughs> I mean, how cute would these look worn together? I haven't even worn them. I think they got packed immediately and that's why I'm just finding them now. <laughs> I don't know if it's the nostalgia. Do we see this bag? I don't know if it's because of the Jansport backpack nostalgia, but when I saw this, I was like, oh no. How adorable is this? Like in a crossbody bag. Maybe I'm too excited about this. I'm just obsessed. I don't know. I'm gonna wear this all the time. <laughs> now that I found it again. I've just never seen anything like it. I don't know, maybe if that's just me. Let me know if you like this. Is it just me? I don't know, I'm obsessed. <laughs> Same thing, I bought a bunch of stuff from Forever 21. I ended up returning a good amount of it, never really filmed any of it. And then it obviously got hot and everything and I moved. And I was looking and like, this one's still heavily stocked. Well, I figured I might as well share it cause it's cute. Now I didn't get it to button or anything. If you are new here, there is just probably so much to know about me in terms of how I wear my clothes. I will link a video for you. It's eight unique ways to look thinner, advice from someone who's not already thin. That at least goes over just kind of how I tend to size and things like that. But anyway, I got this to wear instead of a flannel because fall is approaching us and we know I have to stop myself from wearing flannels daily, like over a graphic tee. That is definitely my uniform flannel and a graphic tee. And I am looking for options to not always wear a flannel, even if I am wearing a graphic tee. And I am wearing this one in a small, I feel like honestly a medium would have been better. Clearly I didn't exchange it, but it is stocked and I really love the quilted. I'd say it gives off the vibe of like a denim jacket. I don't have much from Forever 21 and it's been interesting trying them out at this age, at this age. <laughs> I'm not even gonna sugarcoat this in any way. Like these are pricey, they're by Steve Madden. But when I was on the website, I about fell out of my chair. I have never seen anything like this in me life. So I was looking for a bunch of denim stuff because I'm really just loving denim everything, non-conventional stuff being denim. The fact that it looks like a flare over top of a jean boot, but you could wear it with anything. I don't know. I just absolutely love them. We are about halfway through this video. So please give the video a like if you are digging it so far. That really helps out me and my channel and I can't thank you enough for doing so. 
So next I wanna talk about an online boutique called Three Bird Nest. And I'm trying to do a little bit more to <laughs> support small business. I mean, if you are new here, we do a lot of like Walmart, Amazon, things like that. I mean, specifically on YouTube, I do a ton of Walmart. Um, I have made a conscious effort to try to start to feature at least more small businesses and things like that over on Instagram. Instagram is my main platform. I'd like to, you know, do what I can to bring some of that over to YouTube. However, I know everybody loves the more affordability and things like that of the typical retailers that I show, but we'll try to sprinkle it in when we can. I know some of you have requested that and do want to see it as well. So anyway, Three Bird Nest. I am wearing this shirt. Hopefully you can see me. I'm so not used to filming across the room like this. This is actually in a size small. Again, if you're new here, you might be like, Jen, why would you um, be the weight that you are ordering a size small? I mean, for one, this is extremely oversized. <laughs> And I love to kind of lean into the concept of being oversized in terms of my clothing, but I feel like it doesn't usually look the best. What I typically like to do with oversized clothing that would normally be extremely oversized on someone in a smaller body is I like to combat some of the oversizedness by going down in size. I go down in size for other reasons as well, but that's specifically why I did it here. And I really like it. I mean, I still have uh, the boutte coverage. I probably could wear a medium. I love the uh, raw hem and how this is kind of overly slouchy. It feels like nice quality. It's thin. I mean, I don't have an undershirt on, so it's not extraordinarily thin. It feels like that type of material that's gonna wash up really well. The thinness, I don't think is necessarily indicative of the quality. It's kind of one of those shirts. So I have two more things by Three Bird Nest that I wanna share. So for this one here, I do have footage and I do have an outfit that I'll put up while I talk about it. I just absolutely love this. I mean, talk Talk about like sweatpants that just look adorable. It's just so comfortable. I went down a size because the reviews had said how just kind of big and oversized it ran. I'm actually wearing this one in a size large. Second, I have a, another pair of overalls that you guys really liked on Instagram for those of you that follow me over there. And I'm wearing those in a size large. I cannot find them to save my life. I think they're in the laundry. <laughs> and I put together kind of a cute, like maybe a little bit more of an edgy outfit. I don't know that I have footage but I definitely have a photo. Those I'm wearing in a size large too. The one thing that I will say about the denim ones that you have to be careful with is they are very drop crotch-ish and I'm five foot six as a height reference. But what I ended up doing actually after we took those pictures, I ended up knotting the straps in the back so that you couldn't really see them because if you knot them in the front, I feel like it gets in the way of the buttons and stuff. And I didn't want them to be so drop crotch. So if you happen to try them and that's what's happening with you, just knot them a bunch of times. I I think I ended up doing it twice. You really don't see them. Plus the knot is actually kind of cute. All right, and to kind of end this collective haul, I have a little mini try on for you. I have five items from Mindy May's market and I was very, very influenced by just classically Cassidy. If you guys probably already follow her, but she features them a lot. They are all over, um, but I particularly see them on her a lot. I feel like I just saw it so many times. I'm like, you know, maybe I'll try some stuff. I was very influenced. I just wanted to mention that. This first one I can just try on over this, but the other ones I'll have to kind of do the whole song and dance of getting dressed. This cardigan is <laughs> incredible. It's incredible. It comes in a bunch of colors. I want to say like six colors. I think they're all under separate links, so I'll make sure I link them separately. I love green, and this is kind of a very neutrally style green. It comes in two different sizes. I want to say it's like small, medium, medium, large, or something like that. I'm in the larger of the two sizes. It's just very light loungy, comfy, cozy, but also not frumpy looking. Everyone might have a different opinion on that, but I really, really like it and it is very soft. Is it the softest sweater I've ever felt? No, but it's extraordinarily soft, like it really is. I'm very impressed with the quality and how soft it feels. And it kind of has those, uh, you know, whatever those are called. Are they called Dolman? You guys know I don't know the names of stuff. If you're new here, there's just probably so much to know about how I somehow got into the fashion world and I definitely don't belong, but here we are. So here's actually exactly what I was talking about with the denim overalls earlier. This is the same brand. I'm also wearing these in a size large. I would say that these run like slightly smaller than the other overalls that you would have seen a photo of earlier. You can see how low it goes 
pose, if I move this kind of up, I feel like it fits better because I feel like it was almost getting caught down there a little bit with the whole drop crotch and then my gut situation, you know what I mean? I think I would do the same thing. I would knot them back there so that it looks just a little bit more like this. I like the cut off bottom and you've got the different stations here too, which is cute. And then over here, you've got three stations as well. And I like the print. I think the print is really cute. Oh my gosh. So I love the print and the legs of this one. I absolutely love how wide leg flare they go. I'm wearing this one in a size extra large. I'm just kind of wearing everything over top of what I was already this way I have the shirt on. Um, I think this clearly would look good just as a tank top, but I do have concerns over that for me. Like I have back fat on fleek, and I think this detail back here is actually super pretty. I love how the halter straps do the little tassels and things like that, but I feel like I could not wear it without something underneath. This is clearly not the shirt. So let me know what shirt I should wear with it. I think definitely some sort of a tank top, but it's got to be something that's, I don't need my back fat to be covered. I'm usually fine if you can see that I have rolls, but I just don't really necessarily want them out on display with nothing. If we can come up with a shirt that I can wear under this, that is not, of course, this shirt, I think I'll keep this one because I do really like it. And, and I'm wearing this one in an XL if I didn't say that. So cute. You might remember the gray ones from earlier that I got off a three bird nest. I saw these on Mindy Mays and I was like, are they the same? Cause they look the same. I feel like they're not as long. Those gray ones were definitely dragging. I feel like these aren't quite as long. So I don't know if they're exactly the same or not. These do come in a bunch of different colors. I did get this in a large, which is what I got the gray one in. I know this is uneven, I'll have to fix that. Like adjustable, as you can see, you just pull through there in the back. It's really, really cute. And I'm definitely keeping this one. I wish the pockets were a little more offset, kind of like the gray one is. I could have this in every color. I, oh, it's so good. So good. Okay, and we reached our final one. This one, I did take my shirt off because I thought it would look kind of ridiculous. <laughs> because it's more of a jumpsuit versus overalls. It does have pockets in the front, which is nice. I absolutely love the print. It's very much like a worn in. It feels kind of like that vintage worn in style. I don't know. That's the best way I can describe it, I guess. Like the reviews on this one kind of warned. It runs big and all this kind of stuff. I knew, or at least I thought I knew that as an example in the last one that a large works. So I'm like, okay, maybe a large would work. I wish I got this one in an extra large. Getting it in a bigger size would just give off a different vibe. Here, I feel like it almost looks looks probably a little bit more dressy. I'm not saying this is dressy. It's definitely like a knit. I feel like you could elevate it when it's a little more fitted like this versus if it was looser. I feel like, you know, you kind of put it on with a big loungy cardigan and something that looks like a quasi slipper and it can lean more pajamas where I feel like here, if I put it with like a heel and a blazer because it's a little bit more fitted, it's just gonna give off that different effect. So I don't hate it. I was probably going for more of the other look. As you can see, this was more overall jumpsuit, comfy but cute style haul. I like it though. I mean, I really do. They do have a return policy. Tell me, should I exchange it for an XL and go with kind of the loungy cozy look or should I do the blazer, some cute, summer heels or something and go with more of that elevated look. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. All right, there we have it. We have reached the end. Please, before you go, let me know your favorite thing down in the comments. I will be so curious to know. If there's anything that you absolutely want me to style, please let me know that in the comments as well. I wanna thank Victoria Emerson for sponsoring the earlier part of the video. And don't forget to use the discount code to get 60, yes, 60% 60 off of your order on the site and a thank you to you guys. It's because of you that you're here watching my videos that I am able to work with brands I love like Victoria Emerson. So I can never thank you guys enough. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, I also can't thank you enough. That truly helps out me and my channel when you watch it all the way to the end. If you're here, you know what that means. Please leave me a heart emoji or the secret video word of rolls. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you're awesome and hit the notification bell so that you'll know when I've been in the kitchen cooking looks and I will see you in the next one. Bye.